Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3 as Germany episode number 30. Wow, we've reached the third decade of episodes already. Impressive. Alright, well last I mentioned um, we have an extremely negative monthly balance. We'll pair that with an extremely positive victory point count. Um, yeah, I think if I had a choice between reversing those or not, I would prefer to keep it the way it is. The budget is a problem. I don't know exactly how to resolve that. Actually, it looks like we are just barely going to squeak out these uh, four Palmerns before our uh, entire budget collapses around us. So <laughs> we're in good sh Turns out we're in good shape. It was all planned. No worry, guys. And even um, yeah, as soon as this lets up even a little bit, we should make it a third month and that will be enough time hopefully for the Joachim von Mercatz class to make it out as well. So I mean I'm I'm saying I'm pretending that we'll get back like 3000 per ship here and that's not exactly true because you still pay maintenance on them as soon as they come out. But hopefully it's um, enough to save us. Okay. These kind of things are actually great when you're way ahead in victory points, like these kind of like nothing battles. I also love the one-on-one -on -one battles, but this is probably not a battle we're going to want to fight. A French Raider very well could be something like a big light cruiser or armored cruiser or worse. Okay, what? and, and we're fighting with our Trier class, oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, uh, these guys are not really meant for fighting, so this is probably a battle we will not want to fight. Unless we have to keep moving forward until we get... Wait, can I... I just want to <laughs> give you orders. Change your formation. Alright, let's change your formation now. Line ahead. Tuck back in. I'm not really interested in whatever this is. I don't think we have any objective, no need to actually sink this thing. If it was me controlling these ships, my uh, mission, my my orders for them would be to disengage on any contact, because you're just not supposed to be fighting these guys. So let's also make sure that we're going nice and slow, and that, in theory, should include the fish bock. We're going to close in. They may have more than one ship themselves. So this guy, yeah, he's going 16. We have a max speed of 16. So we're not winning any speed races here. We're at their mercy, I guess. Okay, it is, it lists itself as a, as a light cruiser as well. All right, form up. Okay, we have some kind of read on what it is. And it is, yeah, something which is very capable of sinking both of our ships, if I had to guess. 5,600 tons. I mean, our ships are definitely not. <laughs> they're first of all, they're ancient. Second of all, they're. Oh, the fishbach is different. The Trier is is bad, very bad. But wait, what's your max speed? It's also 16. I didn't realize the Grugger Muckenburgers only have a max speed of 16 as well. I did not realize that. Well, I think what we'll do is just let them catch up. Um, the wind's out of the west, so we're in the correct area. They've decided to give up, and we're fine with that. So that will be the end of the fight. Oh, and good thing because I forgot to adjust this. Unnecessary at this point, since we already know how this battle's going to go. Yeah, so um, I don't know. We probably could have won that one. And I guess it's not really fun for the viewer that I, I disengage from it, but I think that was the right thing to do. We don't need to risk it. It's only going to be like 500 victory points. I mean, maybe a thousand if I lose both of them. Uh, but I don't think that I mean, it's not that it really matters me gaining the extra victory points or losing them. It's probably not enough to matter. It was more. Phew, yeah, those are not really combat effective ships. I also saw the quality negative one guns on them and. Yeah, anyway, there was a lot, several factors in my brain. I probably didn't really uh, talk about all the all the things I was thinking. Oh, great. Yeah, that, that's actually a good reminder. We need some, well, we have no money for it, but we really do need some uh, minesweeping units. We, we just have almost nothing. 
And the funny thing is, we are now blockade. We didn't just break break the blockade. I think that weren't they blockading us at some point? We are now blockading them. So it's really it's, it's quite a turn of events. And also, that's only about to get even better. Now, come on, zero months left. That's not fair. <laughs> You're supposed to come out. Oh well. Okay, a cruiser battle. This one could be bigger. Um, it's in a more favorable area for us, close enough that we could actually return to port. For what the heck? Okay, um, we uh, laid some offensive minefields. Am I supposed to do anything with this? Okay, let me just copy this into a notebook. Okay, I literally co copied that into my notepad++ app that I pretty much always run. Not sure that's going to be important for us or not. Hopefully those things appear on the map. I, I'm hoping that that's just a, an informational log and, you know, the appropriate icons are again, you know, like there. Okay. Um, five, two, one. Okay, there they are. There's the offensive minefields. All right, well, if the battle goes on for an eternity and they actually have to go back that way, that could be useful. That's a pretty cool mechanic, though. I mean, let's, I always like to... I mean, I, I, don't, I don't always... I don't do this often enough is what I should say. I don't praise the game for what it does well often enough, which is many things. That's, that's just how I am. I mean, I, I'm very... Maybe it's like this entitled thing. I don't know. But it's very easy for me to, once I'm familiar with something, just not like appreciate it. And then, you know, you, just, you still you still see the things which you are critical about. All right, what the heck is going on here? This is a cruiser battle, but we have this um, big screen formation in front. I never really liked these things. I wanna get them back to line ahead if we can, just have them pull back. We have our division, our destroyer division which can support one, any kind of thing which goes on there. Okay, Derek Gressers here and Gross, As Gross Admiral Bojack. I'm not sure if either of these are gonna be combat effective against what I presume is going to be some French battle cruisers. So we'll probably just wanna slip around them and get to port. So instead of going uh, in any way easterly, we're gonna go southerly. And see what happens. Okay, yeah, we're getting some good reads on some ships which appear to be dead stopped, even going backwards. Now, I'm gonna let that happen. I think we'll go up to cruise. Now, cruise is still 14, because I could really use a cruise of like 16. Now, they both have um, top speeds of 20 or more. I am gonna risk going up to 16 here, because I do kind of want to disengage. It's the same thing as before. We're blockading them. We don't really need to, uh, you know, we're risking things in these fights that's not necessary, especially because we have those offensive mines and those are gonna save us, aren't they? Oh, we have ships from the south too, my goodness. Well, this is quite a turn of events and that's a battleship. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It's a battle cruiser. All right, we're gonna to need to command some uh, some destroyers. These guys are up to 30, my goodness, that's quick. Joseph von Berg, Berga class, it's got a max speed of 30. These guys are gonna zip, 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 and we're gonna send them right against the battle cruiser, try to give them something else to think about other than my armored cruisers, which are probably gonna be very juicy targets. It's pretty much the perfect thing. If you're a battle cruiser, that's exactly what you wanna see as an armored cruiser. It's like. You could kill a light cruiser, but uh, it's way better to kill an armored cruiser, and you're probably gonna do, with, do it with just about as much ease. And we do have a couple of screening destroyers here. I'm gonna get them all into line ahead in preparation for a potential defensive torpedo run. Okay, now we were completely wrong. Our, we've mis misidentified these are just light cruisers. Which is actually to our benefit. I mean, if we can... Okay, there they are. They say battleships, but this is a cruiser engagement, so... I'm guessing battle cruiser, question mark? 
hoping... Actually, I'm hoping for Armored Cruiser, really. And we can actually fight him. Or, you know, another misidentification as a destroyer. That wouldn't be bad. <laughs> we'll take that as well. And so we're, you can see we're correcting our identifications. That was originally a battleship. We now think it's a destroyer. This also looks like it's a small, speedy little ship. So that might also be a destroyer. It's also not being protected, which lends even more credence to the idea that it's just a destroyer. Oh, okay. Now that that is that's that's what we want to avoid. Oh, dearie me. So we know they're to the east of us, we know they're to the south of us. We want to get to the south. We're going to have to move west. And daytime, nighttime. Nighttime is coming. It's Wow, it's really early on though. It's only one o'clock, almost two o'clock in the afternoon. We have a lot of time we need to, to waste essentially before we can get out of here. All right, you guys can slow down a fair amount. <laughs> Poor Strasburg is probably doing everything it can to catch up. We'll stay at 17. All right, what is this mole house? What, what are you? 12 five inch guns, 7,000 tons. My goodness, that's because it can go 28 knots. Goodness gracious, that's very fast. It's faster than almost all of my destroyers. <laughs> so that's, wow, wow, that's, uh, that's impressive. I mean, definitely can't say anything other than that's impressive. It's quite a ship. Oh, our destroyers are already taking some hits. Oh good, the shell burst was limited by the coal bunkers. Which is, I assume, what it's going to say. Good. Thank goodness for coal, you know? A coal bunker, man, that, that has saved me innumerable amounts of times. All right, so the battle cruisers are rolling over this way to us. We might want to try a feint with them where we shift all our forces east, and except for the armored cruisers, we leave them with just one lowly destroyer escort. Uh, losing some armored cruisers would be detrimental to the victory point spread as it is right now, so I would definitely prefer not to do that. I'm not like gung-ho about sacrificing destroyers to take out their battle cruisers. I mean, look, at we're ahead, so we're playing things conservative. I think that's the normal way of doing it. I mean, if we have a chance to, at least, but I'm not sure. All right, they have formed up destroyers, supporting, and what do we have? We got the Dunkirk class, which is eight 11-inch guns. Man, this is just barely better than my armor cruisers, but it would still kill them. 20,000 tons. Yeah, it's probably all three of them, Dunkirk class. Uh, you know, if we wanted to be very um, thorough about things, we could actually investigate our, you know, take our known whatever ships. So they do have some Marseille class, and if it's these, boy, eight 14 inch guns, that's, wow, very weak belt though. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what the battle cruiser is though. It's only supposed to be fighting other, uh, other cruisers. Oh, oh, the one who lost the communications was my, so I take it that you're not my flagship? Who is my flagship? Oh yeah, Derek Rester is my flagship. So can I have you, you are supporting Derek Rester? That's weird. Why aren't you guys just in the same division? Okay, hey, we landed a hit. That's great. Yeah, we'll continue to move. Like, we'll, we'll try to get ahead of the battle cruisers. They could have. Um, they could actually be using 
oil firing at this point. Uh, they're, they're rolling up too. Yeah, you know what? I think we are just going to pull away entirely with our armored cruisers. Which is really going to separate things. It's not going to be great for my light cruisers. Light cruisers, maybe we can start pulling off as well. And you are... How many? You're just yourself. We'll get you to go backwards. I don't want people launching missiles. No. <laughs> Torpedoes. Not yet, not yet. Just hold your fire. Wait till you see the whites of their eyes. Let's get all the divisions, um, destroyer divisions up to 20. Well, you can actually stay at 22 because they seem to be um, heading right at you. Yeah. I'll pull you guys off for the moment. I really would prefer not to lose these new destroyers. Um, they're just completely ignoring the fact that they're entering my torpedo range too. I'm not sure why they would do that. Hmm. Fascinating. Pretty even fight in the rear, but I don't know what's going on here. Okay, they are turning away. That's that's good. I think I'm going to launch torpedoes at the mole house just to get her to turn to do something. You know, get out of my way, basically. Stop pursuing me. And let me um, not maneuver because it's been reported I always change my directions after I launch torpedoes. We'll see what happens if I don't do that. I mean, for all we know, the S-33 is going to sink moments after this, so we'll just get her to launch a bunch of torpedoes. Nope, the mole house made her turn without any... Uh, Change of direction of the S-33. Look at that. Perfectly maneuvered. Cut away for a split second and then even turn back towards me without my moving. Now, I, I, wanted, I mentioned this also in that same comment chain that I don't actually believe that the AI is cheating. I think that their algorithm is just very good about detecting torpedo ranges. Maybe they are cheating from the perspective that they know my technology, they know my torpedo range, and so they know more or less when to dodge. If they um, are using their own torpedo tech as the reference distance, and we have, and it's just, that means that they're only good at predicting when you're like launching torpedoes based on their torpedo technology, that would be at least a little bit less cheaty. Because, you know, if I wanted to, I could take the time and look at when I'm entering torpedo ranges. I could do the math that's just geometry, right? Trigonometry, basically. Um, where like could I launch a torpedo torpedo at this speed I don't think any humans can sit there and do that that would take like hours to play like a couple minutes but uh, yeah all that information is available so in theory we could I want you guys to keep going this way yeah they are turning off that's good okay oh, you guys are getting slammed too Probably want to you go ahead and put on the afterburners here and make our great escape. Who are we hitting here? Bison class. I don't even know what a bison class is. Bison. I'm not sure. 31 knots, 800 tons. They have mines, oh boy. Is that the battle cruiser turning north again? I 
see, it's I have two perfect destroyer divisions that could go after these Dunkirks. I'm gonna let them make the decision. Uh, if they choose to disengage, we will not go after them. If they do not choose to disengage, we will go after them. And that's, you know, that's what my screens are supposed to do, is do their duty. Get the, chase off the things which are attacking the thing they're screening. Okay, we're up to 25 knots. We, we're, I, I mean, I think at this point we are committed. So we're gonna go for it. And we have other backup destroyers kind of meandering into, into the area. I think we're also gonna turn off this. I, I hope that they kind of understand what's going on here. <laughs> Hopefully they do. And hey, you know what? Even the light cruisers are gonna shift. Yeah, we've got them at this point where it's already too late for them to adjust. They are gonna try to adjust. Maybe I'm gonna eat my words here. They are not. Okay, well, here we go. We can start launching torpedoes as well. We are unfortunately gonna be about as fast as the torpedoes themselves, but we might as well just you know, thicken the water with torpedoes. We might get lucky. They're gonna to have to shift left or shift right. I mean, they only got two choices here. The best thing for them to do is just keep going straight. I don't think they're going to do that, but if they do that, then hey, that's even more of a victory for me. Now, do we have front-mounted torpedoes? I don't think so. Oh, wow, we actually still have a shot, though. Oh, that's on the mole house. No, 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 I don't want that. I actually do want these low-fire, low... Fire, low um, damage, I'm sorry, low speed torpedo launches because we might end up hitting the one behind them too. Oh, now, now we'll switch over to low. That's perfect. Same thing here, I guess. Low 36, that's perfect. It's very difficult to hit a destroyer with torpedoes, so I'm going to expect, hope, whatever, that we don't hit ourselves. Certainly is possible though. Wow, it, we have we have definitely thickened the water with torpedoes. Probably all those are gonna miss. We see that they're already changing uh, the direction. That's not where they're gonna go. I just, I mean, we know that. 58, no. 60 is a little bit better. About okay, 64. We're starting to get to the point where I might actually now. They're not going to give me what I want here. What I want is like 80. <laughs> Wait, 69. Okay, that that's. I mean, that's that's the best I've seen. I don't think that's going to hit, but we'll try it. Can anyone give me better than that? Yeah, this is not not what I want. 71. Really don't think that's gonna be it. They're gonna turn, they're, I mean, they're gonna keep turning. I'm not even gonna waste the torpedoes on that. Oh, goodness. We got a real thing here. Okay, they had to cut back. Do our best here. Keep launching torpedoes. I think this should be a high. Take that. There we go. That's what I want. Seventy-one, seventy-four, seventy-eight. Seventy-six seems good. Let's do seventy-six. I would have taken the seventy-eight too, but you know, whatever. And then are you guys launching torpedoes? Heck yeah. <laughs> you are. Definitely gonna launch some torpedoes. 
Oh, very cool. We can actually launch at this guy. Now he's... I have no idea what he's going to do, but we're launching a port side torpedo anyway. That's not a big deal. B-26, I don't even know what this guy's going to aim at. You, I guess? Okay, well, we'll just put two down there just in case. Oh, it's a sea of torpedoes. <laughs> I love it. All right, now we definitely want to switch over to the newer, the closer Dunkirk, if we have any torpedoes to spare. Nope. Yep. Yep. And big time yep. I'm not sure we're going to hit this guy with anything, but you know, we'll do our best here. Okay. We've expended all of our starboard rounds, but is there anybody? Yeah, we're not going to be able to get anything else off. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see what we can do here. Um, so you guys can actually turn around and go home. This isn't really funny. Oh, the max speed. Well, you know, I know that your max speed says it's 16 or whatever, but you're just, you're going to leave. And you guys might as well just make your way north as well. All right, let's watch and see what happens. Hit, hit. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hit. What? No. Oh, man. I saw a lot of torpedoes disappear in there. What a tease. She's so close. Somebody's got to have something. Okay, wow. No hits. Very disappointing so far. Um, spin around, I guess. Oh, it went through them, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. We still got a hit, but it could have been so much better. Oh, yes. Perfect. At least, come on, at least one more. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yes. Okay, good. That's that's promising. So close, man. We're so close. We shouldn't miss. Oh, man. We might miss with both of them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did we just... Did we just hit the... We hit the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Port side? You should have a port side. You don't. Damn. Who has a port side? Nobody. Nobody has a port side. Okay, fine. Now we'll take whatever. Okay, good. So these both of these Dunkirks are um, in bad shape. I think it's a fine time for our destroyers to get the hell out of here. And we'll let our other destroyers just mosey their way in. Oh, this guy's dead in the water right away, too. Okay, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're firing three-inch guns. Not sure that's going to be half the... Not going to have the desired effect. You know what? Honestly, I think that the... You know, for being 20,000 ton, 26 knots, low armor... I mean, I think I'm pretty sure two torpedoes might be enough to just sink these guys outright. They are old, 1906. One torpedo I'm not sure about. Hey, I mean, they're very far away from port. And it's about to be dark. So if we get really lucky here, again, does anybody have torpedoes left? No. And yes. Where are you guys holding out? Starboard. Oh dear. I'm so sorry, but we have to do it. Oh, you know what? Oh shoot. Turn together. Okay, um, what I need to do is probably just break these guys up. Torpedo tubes. Okay, good thing we don't have any more to torpedo tubes there. 
So you detach. Goodbye. Um, you are line of breast turned together. Very good. But um, who's the remaining one? S35. Okay, S35. You have a starboard torpedo that we need you to launch, which means you're going to do some weird stuff. In fact, anybody else who's damaged like S34, you should also detach because just get, get the heck out of here. How are we going to do this? Is one starboard torpedo worth this? I don't know, but maybe it is. <laughs> All right, let's try to pursue the other Dunkirk, assuming that S-35 here can get get the job done. It's not convincing me that he's capable of doing it. He's having a real hard time, isn't he? I mean, I'm not, I'm not helping the matter too much. I understand that, but... <laughs> Everyone's kind of getting out of here. Let's bring our light cruisers back because you know what? With the battle cruisers out of the picture, we um we actually can tangle. Uh, you know what? Stay squad max. We can actually tangle with light cruisers. Try to just push them off our destroyers. Everyone helps everyone. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to do this in, in the end. Good. A lot of these guys were already going to sink. I think. That's why I tell myself when I try to go to sleep at night. <laughs> All right, just launch your torpedo. All that, just launch a torpedo. Get the heck out of here. Not sure it'll hit. And if, it, if it's not looking like it'll hit, I'll just spend... You're just by yourself, too, and you only have two torpedoes left. I'll just spend the rest of my torpedoes launching at the other guys. I mean, at the same one. Yeah, let's not risk it. Let's just make this a, a quicker show. Port side. Port side. And we'll disengage with these guys. And you're about to do the same thing. Unfortunately, you're also about to run into the French destroyers. Well, that's a lot of just torpedoes coming your way. And we'll do that famous thing and, you know, hammer and anvil tactic for the, the torpedo bombers use. Just put one um, on target from this direction, which means that if he tries to turn left or right, we should get him. I don't know if that... Well, this would be if we were launching the spread. I guess we're not launching the spread. So, you know, forget about that. But we'll launch one anyway. That one looks pretty good. Yeah, I think we might have even got two hits there. One more. Okay, that's good enough. Let's get out of here. And then, yeah, like I said, bring in the light cruisers to, you know, let's try to protect whatever destroyers have made it so far. You do have some torpedoes, and for some reason this battlecruiser seems to be wandering off all on its own. Is this deploying smoke? Are they deploying smoke? That's cool. go down to 20 just to have a consistent battle line speed even though the battle line quote unquote battle line is just a bunch of destroyers right now yeah he's done for I wonder if this Dunkirk would actually come back into the fight she might sink, too. I mean, we could get lucky. I love this, the light cruisers showing up to shepherd the destroyers back out. Like, you know what? You guys have done a great job. We'll take it from here. And they're protecting them. Right as night nighttime comes, 
We can now go off east, I guess. I don't know. I suppose that this is the group we found over there. Maybe not. Kind of risky to do that. But it'll be nighttime soon, too. Uh, let's just go back north. We'll slow these guys back down to cruise. And, you know, maybe we'll put some destroyers ahead of them. So if that mole house comes, we'll still we will still have some words with them. I don't know why they would. Oh yeah, they hit us first. <laughs> yeah, I know it's three to one, but these are not exactly the best. <laughs> So it's four five inch guns per. <laughs> it's a messy group. Okay, but I think we the mole house has decided it's not worth it. Probably a smart idea. Alright, now we do our disengaging act. We got one, maybe more than that. Cruise and cruise north. Just in time for dusk. I think that's gonna be it. Good show. Well, we did lose a couple of destroyers. At least one, I think two, right? No, I'm pretty sure we lost two destroyers. Maybe more, we'll see what happens at the end of this one. But a short cruiser fight, so. Yeah, I'll take the results. I just would be absolutely incredulous if that one battle cruiser survived. And we may have two. We may get two. Okay, just the one. Just the one. So it, that's exactly what it was. Two of our destroyers for one of their battle cruisers. That's a trade-off that I am definitely willing to take, and it, it's quite, you know very well reflected by the score. 59,000 to 3,000. Let's see how it exactly happened for them. So she, wow, she had just terrible flooding at the time she, she went down too. There was just nothing she could have done. Uh, an engine room hit as well. The machinery was repaired two minutes before she sank. That's a bummer. So we did see her really drop down in speed and that's why. More, more interesting to me is the Strasbourg here. Let's see her story. So she took a torpedo to the turret. Okay. Yeah, to the rear turret. Um, and that was easy enough for her to control flooding with. But you can see, even one torpedo ended up doing about half of her flotation in damage. So, you know, a second torpedo probably would have sank her. Probably. I mean, we don't know where it would have hit. It may not have. Good show. All right, well, that's going to be, I mean, I guess that's a whole episode right there. And that's another th almost 4,000 victory points, too. Battle cruisers, I mean, they're scary to fight against, but they are they sure are worth a lot. Um, we're saying yes to all battle control, I mean, to fire control type stuff, I guess. And uh, we're getting some battleships commissioned. That's only one? There was one on one month left, I think, and one on zero months, which is weird that that one didn't happened the term before. Okay, the Blitzdraka hit a mine, but she did not sink. And boy, boy, oh boy, do we really need to... Wait, wait, okay, there. <laughs> it adjusted. I was like, nine is 10,000 again? So, yeah, we still have another two turns of life in us, and what the, like, what the hell is this BS? <laughs> Zero months. We should have finished already, but um, we did not. That's all right. So, and wait a second. These guys were, this guy was three months. 
Oh, but no, we, that, that, this is understandable. This makes sense because we added the better fire control, which adds, I think, two more months. Wait, one more month? One more month. Huh. I'm not sure. I'm not keeping, like, a very close eye on this, but... All right, do you guys have the Minesweeper stuff? Can I open your design? Yes. Okay, good. So this is the... These are the Corvettes with Minesweeping gear. I probably want some more of them, even. Because you can see mines are starting to be an issue. and well, We don't have the budget for it yet. We'll wait for this to all kind of clear and settle down. And then when I see how much budget I can work with, it will be a priority to get more minesweeping corvettes around. Anyway, I mean, we don't really have enough time for another battle. Um, I guess I can hit next turn, see what battle it is, and then we can begin it in the next. Oh, interesting. Well, this might be one I can do real quick especially if it's only one ship. Just... Okay, what do we got? We are Bodevig, which you're extremely old. Top speed of 19, and hey, at least this thing has a, a reasonable chance of fleeing, which is what we'll get it to do right away. I don't care, I, it's just even if it's a light cruiser, the chances of us being able to take it are not great. And we're certain, oh, we don't want to go towards Brest. Um, yeah, and we're so far ahead in the war that, oh god, it's catching up, isn't it? It is a, like a bullet. Oh, it's one of those 27 knot ones. No, it's only 22. Well, it certainly is catching up. Okay, wind is out of the southwest, which means, yeah, we want to fight on the northeast. And we are taking hits, too. Well, it looks like we're going to have to engage. Okay, we, we did land a couple hits there. Oh, we, that last turn was not good. Turret top did not penetrate. Two hits. Now, both of us are using six inch guns, if I'm not mistaken. Quality negative one in our case, because we are not supposed to be doing this fighting. I don't think we didn't necessarily send the light cruiser over here, but you know, that's just the usual. I have to mention that. Yeah. We're in very bad shape now. So we'll try to do the old turnaround to give her the the torpedo. Are we going to go down anyway? Not necessarily. I think now is about the time I want to fire this thing. I've been waiting. I don't know if this is the right time, but we're going to go for it. We're definitely dead if this doesn't hit. So this is a you know, swing for the fences. Oof. All right, well, we'll just try to pour on whatever broadsides we can. We're not gonna be able to live this one out, so just go down swinging. Yeah, and that's all she wrote. All right, we did medium damage to her. Um, you can see that just losing one Jean Bard is forced to seek internment in neutral ports due to the damage occurred to the What? We that there's no Jean Bard in this one. <laughs> what? The the what what? So weird. Sometimes, I mean, I don't know. I don't really understand how this game does things sometimes. Oh, the Jean Bart is her. Okay. Durr. I was like, wait, <laughs> I don't have a ship called the Jean Bart. No, Tortuga, you don't. <laughs> it's the French one. So it's, that's kind of a, um, yeah, it's interesting. So we'll lose a few victory points for this. You know, three, 200, 350. But blockade point 
why is it a wash? Because they're, I don't know why. And it, actually, this also doesn't make sense. It's, it works in our favor this time, but why would they have to go to a neutral port? They're right outside of Brest. In fact, the closest port for them would have been Brest. But that's okay. Again, these are things that I think is just random rolls under the hood. And, uh, you know, just it, the logic of it is not totally sensible. It's just, it works as a very, very big abstraction that doesn't always make sense. Anyway, we were able to get one more battle in, so that's good. We're saying yes to all that. Got another one, got another two, got another three. They were all at zero months, so god, they should have finished. We have airships, which I don't care about. We sunk a, a raider. They sank uh, one of our submarines. We sank four enemy su uh, merchant ships. They sank two of ours. You know, uh, back and forth we go. But uh, victory point wise, we're still really, really far ahead. And hey, that's the monthly balance I can live with, minus 500. So all concerns have been addressed in this one. Victory point is very good still. And now the monthly balance has settled down into something that we can manage, which means the next episode will definitely, I, I don't know if I'll make another Corvette. I'll probably just end up building more of these, these grifes. Yeah, uh, that's a problem for future Tortuga. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.